and welcome to Creative Moments by G. I'm Georgia and we are so happy that you stopped by today. If you are new to our channel, we want to remind you that we share little bits of inspiration on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And we go live on YouTube Wednesday at 10 o'clock Mountain Standard Time. We certainly hope that you can join us. We want you to be part of our Sunflower Stamper family. Today, we are going to be creating a stepper card. Have you seen those? They are so cute. And no matter what stamp set you have, you can create this card that everyone is going to love. So let's head down to the crafting table and let me show you this card. Look at this beautiful card. Isn't it gorgeous? See how it steps up and it just sits so nicely on your desk. It is actually a decoration. It's not just a card, but we used a stamp set from Stampin' Up! called Life is Beautiful for our main focus. And then we also used some other stamp sets that we'll share with you below this video. And you can click on any of those supplies and just get those ordered. So let's look at this stepper card. It is so nice and you see how it folds? You can tell that we cut it down the center and that we have a few score lines that we need to create, right? So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to need to take your trimmer and take out a piece of eight and a half by 11. Now you're going to cut this card in half. We already have eight and a half right here. We're simply going to take it on the 11 inch side and cut it at the five and a half. Now, what you need to do is we need to have a guideline. So we're gonna go ahead and cut just a little bit of what we need right here in the center. So go ahead and move that over to two and three fourths. And let's just take our trimmer blade and just cut a little bit in the center. See what we did? And that's going to give us a guide so we know exactly where to score our step. Go ahead and turn it on the eight and a half inch side and now we are going to score our step lines. The first one you need to score is one and a fourth. So we are going to dock our cutting blade because we don't want to accidentally cut something, right? And I want you to notice right here on this scoring mechanism, you'll see a little line. That way you can line that up with what you've already cut. So we wanna go ahead and score at one and a fourth. So I have it one and a fourth. I'm going to just bring it down and score it right there. Now I'm going to move it over and score at two. Once again, I am using this middle line right here on the scoring blade and I'm lining it up and I'm stopping right where I need to stop. Then I'm going to move it over to three and one eighth. Do the same thing, score it. Then I need to score a four and a fourth, but we wanna make sure and take it all the way across because this creates our middle fold for our card. So at four and a fourth and take it all the way across. Then we have one more to score and that's six and one eighth. And we only score right to the line. So there we have it. Now we have all our score lines as you can see, but we didn't cut up far enough. So we're gonna go ahead and put that back in and put it at two and three fourths. And look at where your scoring lines are and go all the way up. And there we have it, exactly where we need it cut. This is the way it folds. As you can tell, we created a mountain here, we folded this one down, and then you just kind of walk it like it's supposed to be, and there you have it. Here's your step card. Now all you have to do is decorate it. So let's go ahead and get this decorated. And remember, all the measurements will be listed over on our website at creativemomentsbyg.com. Just head over there and you can find it on the blog. So what we are going to do is create a cute little tree with a 
chair on it because we are telling someone, go ahead, rest and relax. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and take a piece of paper and we are going to stamp our tree. Now we're gonna go ahead and use soft sway. And this will stamp off our white piece of paper, but that's okay. That's fine. Stamp right there. Because we need enough room to put our little rest and relaxation chair, right? Look at that. So pretty. Now we're going to go ahead and stamp our chair. And we are bringing in Knight of Navy for the chair. Hold it so that we get all the ink. Now we're going to bring in Bermuda Bay for the cushion part. Just add a little bit. Doesn't that look like a tree that you would want to sit under? Oh my goodness. Now we need to go ahead and bring in the leaves. And I would recommend, here's a little tip. Start with your lighter color first. And go ahead and just bring in those leaves. Look at that. Now we're going to come in with some red. And we're going to go ahead and use lovely lipstick because this is a fall tree. We're going to add just a few down here. Then we're going to bring in one more color. Look at that. I'll put a few little leaves down here by the tree. With this stamp set, they also have a stamp that looks like the ground. And so you want to make sure and use that as well. We're going to go ahead and use our soft suede and just bring that in right about here. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Now we're going to do some matting. So we've decided on this designer series paper. We're going to bring it in. And we are going to put it right there. And we're going to go ahead and use our multi-purpose glue. And just glue it right to the card. We are going to go ahead and glue this down as well. You, have it. you might want to go ahead and lay it flat when you're gluing these down. It makes it a little bit easier. Now we've already cut our pieces that we want to map right here on this card. And we're gonna go ahead and stamp those. And the back saying is going to have, know that you are loved. And we'll go ahead and stamp that in Knight of Navy. And we want to stamp one other little strip and this one's going to say, rest and relax. You deserve it. Now let's go ahead and bring in our mats. We have a mat for this area. Let's get it laid down. Make sure you stay with us to the very end because we have two more cards to show you. Oh, we think you're going to love them. And we'd like to invite you at this time to just take a moment and go ahead and subscribe to our channel. That way you will never miss one of our videos. So remember to ring that bell. And I think this DSP really complements this Knight of Navy. We're going to go ahead and set this up on dimensionals. And we are going to get our Take Your Pick tool and go ahead and take the backing off of those dimensionals. And remember, you need some place where they can write 
So we've cut our strip and we're gonna put a piece of paper right there and that way you can write your message. So let's see what this looks like. Oh, look at that, isn't that pretty? We have our nice little chase lounge right here underneath the tree. We say rest and relax, you deserve it. Know that you are loved and you can set it up just like that. See how it sets up? It actually becomes a decoration on their desk. Now remember, I showed you this one. Oh, just a gorgeous, we've incorporated these large leaves. Life is beautiful, thinking of you, and we have our place for you to write your sentiment. Now we have another one. Look at this one. Using the same tree. Oh, and we just love it. The, this stamp set has bubbles. It is so cute. We put some more branches here to almost create a little bush and put, hello, you make me smile. And finally, we have this one. We have our little birdhouse right here that comes with the stamp set. Hello, thinking of you. Well, what do you think about those cards? Don't you love that stepper card? So easy to make, and yet it really adds to the presentation. And we love the stamp set that we use to go along with it. And we want to remind you to go out, be safe, be healthy, be creative in your crafting. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.